Welcome back to another episode. I have something to admit to you guys. I have lied to you guys. I have. I've lied to myself as well. A few episodes back, I got some stuff from Luke Moore's One. And I got a PC Engine 2 system and a, and a Turbo Duo. And with that, with my other stuff, uh, with my other Super Graphics and my Turbo Graphics 16, I basically said to you guys that I had completed my PC Engine family. I had gotten everything I've ever wanted to get for that system. Well, that wasn't the truth because in the back of my mind, there was always another machine that I, I wanted, uh, that I wanted to pick up. And it's been very, very hard for me to find. And uh, it's funny, I actually was talking on the phone to Luke Moores, one, uh, when he sent me that stuff. I want to thank him for that. And we were talking about this machine and I asked him, I said, is it, you know, is it easy to find in Japan? And he goes, man, he goes, I never find it out here. He goes, I've seen it, but he goes, it's really, really expensive. And that's also the thing with this machine is, I've looked on eBay and it's extraordinary. The, the prices vary from like 300 to 500 dollars boxed. Well, and I rarely see one. I've never seen one without a box. And I, I can live with this machine without a box. I just want to own it. So it actually showed up and I'm really happy to show you guys it. But before I open it up, I, I want to get into a bit of the history of me and the PC Engine. I've never really actually explained where I first heard about it, how I, you know, wh why I became so obsessed with it. That should be the real thing. So, I thought, I, I dug these up. It took me a long time to dig these out of the closet. And I found them. And they are two old Game Pros. The first one here, it's Game Pro Volume 1, Number 2. And I don't know what year this is. This is probably 89. It's got, it is 89, and looking at it. And I went down to my local... Um, you know, save on foods or whatever the heck it was, and I picked this up and I looked in it and I saw they were reviewing, they were showing two new systems that had come out in Japan. One of them was the Mega Drive, the other was this, you know, machine, the small machine called the PC Engine, and it used credit cards as games. And I had never seen anything like this, and I, I was fascinated by it. I, I, I wanted both these machines that day, but uh, I wasn't going to see them for a little bit more time. So that was the first time I had ever seen or heard about the PC Engine. The next time was, in a very good issue of Game Pro here, the Fantasy Star 2 issue. And I opened this up, I think to whereabouts is it, to right here. And this is where I found out about the core graphics, the super graphics, and the machine I got today. The PC Engine Shuttle. Let's have a look. Here we go with the basic machine here. Here we go. So here is the PC Engine Shuttle. So all this is, is a PC Engine, but it's shaped in the, you know, the shape of a shuttle. And I think it's really cool. It's really awesome. All it plays is hue cards. You cannot attach a CD-ROM attachment to it. You can only attach a booster pack, you know, for, for backups. And it's it's it was basically aimed at a younger audience in Japan, and it flopped. But by it flopping, it became very hard to find. And uh, I've waited a long time to get this. I I look on eBay all the time, and I I've only ever seen you know ever seen as I say the box ones. So to see this on its own was awesome. So here's the PC Engine shuttle on its own. Now here's another thing too. The controller is actually a specific PC Engine shuttle controller. It's only shaped that way for this particular machine. And so we get the AV cords, and just so you guys can see, the AV cords plug into the back. And it's kind of interesting for the AC adapter side here, for the power output basically. It has a lock, it actually closes and opens the uh, AC adapter port, and that's unusual, you never see that. It's funny, my girlfriend asked me probably last month when I actually ordered this, she's like, why do you need all these different PC Engine things? For me, it's obviously part of a collection but as I said I saw all of these when I was a younger guy 20 years ago in these Game Pro magazines and it, I just thought they were so fantastic I thought they were so interesting and I knew we'd never get them and I always really really want to own them 
So it is a completion of a collection for 20 years that I finally have here with the PC uh, Engine Shuttle. It's, it's fantastic. I finally have, and I can say for all certainty now, that my PC Engine family is complete. I own every single thing that I want to own for the PC Engine family. There is one more thing that I want, and it's it's even for me, it's, the price tag is, is out there for me. It's called the PC Engine LT, and it's actually a PC Engine and screen built into one. It's portable, and it's really rare, and it's really expensive. So uh, I'm going to pass on that. I can let that one go, but to get the PC Engine uh, today was really, really cool. And from what I know, uh, Luke Morse told me this as well, that... The PC Engine Shuttle is also known as the Satellite in Japan, and that's another name for it. So I thought that was really interesting, I didn't know that beforehand. You know what I find so funny? Look, look at this, it, this actually looks like a shuttle. Check that on the side there. <laughs> and the back. And the front. Really awesome. Guys, just a quick video, just to show you the PC Engine Shuttle. Until next time.